How do you attract best in class team members to your company? How do you reward your superstars? In this video, we'll explain how we create compensation plans that align employee actions to the chief executive's vision and reward continued growth and performance for the company. And stick around until the end to learn the key mindset most business owners miss when building a compensation plan. Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Laughlin, and today we're talking about compensation plans. This is part of an ongoing series of deep dives into some of the tools and processes we use at iProv to help business leaders grow their business. A well-designed compensation plan focuses on attracting, retaining, and motivating employees, formalizing policies around base pay and salary structures, cash or non-cash incentive pay, such as bonuses and stocks, and benefits such as health insurance and retirement savings, gives business owners a frame of reference for rewarding employees. Without a compensation plan or policy, business owners are stuck relying on an ad hoc approach where there's no consistency or theoretical or practical basis from which to acknowledge success and reward performance. So let's talk about what a compensation plan really is. In theory, a compensation plan is a formal document or policy that explains the company's stance on employee pay and rewards. This policy addresses the what, why, how, how much, and how often of employee rewards in a manner that aligns with the company's mission, vision, and long-term strategic objectives. Ultimately, the result is a set of practices and policies that are in sync and guide decision-making when it comes to creating and distributing compensation. In practice, a compensation plan is more than a formal document. It is also a product of the company's culture, as the structure of the plan is indicative of how employees can expect to be treated in terms of rewards. Though consistency is imperative, your compensation plan also needs some flexibility in order to reflect changing market conditions and the business's position at any given moment. So let's talk about your pay strategy. Because simply put, your compensation strategy or your pay strategy is the thesis of your compensation plan and should clearly communicate the way a company rewards its employees. A well-balanced pay strategy builds trust via transparency and commitment. It aligns the company's and employee's goals by making it clear what the employee gets if they help the company achieve its goals. Let's talk about the four basic types of compensation strategies and how you can mix and match them to fit the needs of your company. First up is market pay. And market pay compensation is determined by what other companies in your area, or the market, typically pay people in a similar position. The total pay is based on the difficulty of the job and the experience and qualifications necessary for the position. Next up is equal pay. And wages are equal for every employee, no matter their position or complexity of the job in an equal pay company. Mostly, you see this pay strategy in family businesses, although there are some examples of businesses using it as a way to create a level playing field. In most cases, Equal pay only applies to base pay and additional incentives are given based on clearly communicated performance goals. Next is flexible pay. And this is a relatively new compensation strategy and it really sort of feels like a perk right now. It allows employees to be in charge of deciding when they get paid for the work that they do. Rather than wait on those two days a month for a paycheck or direct deposit to arrive, employees can select their own pay cycle based on their needs. Finally, is a tailor paid strategy. This kind of compensation strategy is common among senior management and salespeople. Similar to a market pay strategy, wages are determined by the market. But people in these sorts of pay arrangements also receive payment for achieving personal goals and the overall performance of the company. So now you know what a compensation plan is and you have some strategies for structuring pay Let's talk about what you're rewarding. One of the questions you should ask yourself when designing your compensation plan should be, what behaviors or traits do I want to reward? Do you need experienced people to lead and develop new products and services? Do you need an army of entry-level workers to run checklists? Do you need people with specialized knowledge or credentials? The answer to these questions should be based on your long-term objectives and your core values. 
Now, answering these questions will help you determine the right mix of pay strategies to use and will give you some clarity on how to match rewards to desired outcomes of the position. This, in turn, will help you signify the value of the employee to the organization and encourage retention. Finally, let's talk about communicating your pay strategy and compensation plan clearly. Bottom line, a compensation plan helps you attract and retain the right talent for the right position, but just developing a compensation plan is not enough. Understanding the company's requirements and communicating the plan in a way to get the most talented team members available attracted to your company and to keep employees satisfied and motivated is the main goal. This only happens when people know what's required of them each day and what the reward is for meeting and exceeding expectations. Are you struggling to create or communicate your compensation plan? Leave a comment below and tell me what you're struggling with. You can also visit iprovonline.com for more information and more of our thoughts on rewarding employees. Peace, peeps.